I really like this graphic because number one, there's no obvious indication of direction here. And by that I mean you've got stuff going from left to right and stuff going from right to left. And it really works that way. So you're an existing business. You've got enterprise systems. And they're not going away. Maybe eventually you're going to replace some legacy and monolithic line of business apps back there with, you know, microservices and things like that. But you're going to deal with these systems for a while. They're already doing what they do. They, they often do it quite well. But they're not optimized for, for digital consumption. So you got to do some stuff to get there. And now you see you got an integration team and then that turns into some some services, maybe an ESB or a SOA architecture, things like that. And then you have your API team, and then they create the APIs that are going to actually be the consumption-driven model that your developers, your app developers are going to consume. And those app developers are going to be internal. They're going to be external, any combination thereof. And then you have your actual apps and, of course, then your actual user. So the importance of this digital value chain is to understand that there's a lot of parts to it. And understand that, that there's a lot of interaction that needs to take place. Every single entity on this chain is important to the process. You need to have representation from all of them. You need to make sure that the users on the far left are properly represented, which you can do through the developers, but also directly as you know what they are, you know, what their needs are, what, what, what they're wanting. Remember what I want, when I want, and whatever device I want. You want to interact with your developers to make sure they understand what's going on and know how to use your APIs. All the way down to your integration team and your enterprise systems, they all have to work cohesively together.